Hello there my YouTube friends and fans, welcome back to Elden Ring. Yes, it is actually a lot of fun fighting naked in the Lanel sewers, uh, taking out those monstrosities, practicing your skills, and in the end get a ton of runes doing so. It's way more fun than doing the boring rune farming that we all do or have to do. So I am here coming back actually to the catacombs in Lendl, in the Lendl capital city. I've been here many times, but only came here for specific things, for specific items. Never really explored this area and I thought, hey, before I finish this game, I really want to explore this whole sewer system and get everything that I can from here. And I accidentally, uh, without knowing, ran into a boss here that I didn't even know existed. No, not this guy. That's right here. That's just another nuisance. You can just ignore this guy if you jump down here. It took me a really long time to find out how to get farther down in the sewer system until I kind of walked up here this ladder instead of going that, continuing down there through the pipes. I looked down and uh, all of a sudden I was like whoa look at this thing there this hole in the pipe maybe that's the way to finally continue and get farther down because I could not find another way so I am very excited I'm like this looks very promising let me go check this out and I have no idea where to go. This is a very confusing, but let me tell you, it's super important for you to go down here and explore because you find a ton of loot. You find like smithing stones and all kinds of things, runes, whatnot. So, but what you see here, try to make this video really, really short so you can see exactly how I got down. You can maybe make yourself a little map, left, right, left, right. That's what I usually do. Uh, how you get down here finally the fastest way how to get to this boss that I found by accident but when I saw this ladder here I knew I was on to the right way because I've never been here before and I was like this is finally getting me somewhere I see those pots and another ladder and I know that I finally found the way down to the bottom of the sewers and this is such an exciting moment because let me tell you, it is not easy to find your way through here. So I'm hoping that this video is helping people who just want to get there fast and don't have the patience or time to spend hours exploring the sewers. But yeah, there's tons more loot and there is a side of grace down here, which is also something I did not expect. I didn't really expect anything down here, to be honest. But you know how they say curiosity kills the cat and I'm very curious so I'm like I have to go see what's here. There's probably a chest or something so more loot and wow look at that we're in the catacombs now. I was in the catacombs before but f way farther up and there was no way to come down here so I don't know if this is connected or anything. And look at that we have more loot another smithing stone smithing stone six which is always great even if you can buy them at the store get them that getting them for free is awesome and we get here and I'm like oh wow this this is a cool kind of church I'm like oh oh and there's a big guy at the end is this a boss there was no boss door though oh well all right uh I guess I have to deal with this guy I was totally unprepared I had no idea what I had on me if I could actually beat this guy because that was so unexpected but all I want to do is go and get this chest open here. That's what my eyes are on. I don't really care about this boss at all. But I know I have to fight him so I find Earthry's Favor plus one which is an upgraded version of the regular Earthry's Favor Talisman. So definitely worth coming down here for. So of course I failed this boss because I wasn't really paying attention to him much. <laughs> I lost about 40,000 runes and while that's not so much anymore when you're in the end game, it's still a quite substantial amount that you can buy a lot of goodies with. So I was like, I'm gonna have to go back in there and get my runes. And even if it means that I have to keep trying to beat this boss many, many, many times, but actually 
I was able to beat them at, on my next run right here. And you can see how I did it. Not, nothing really special, but um, I just used whatever I had on me. Because, like I said, I wasn't prepared for this and I wasn't patient enough. I didn't have any uh, interest in going and researching this online. I was like, you know, we'll, we'll, we can do it. We'll just, you know, try. I have my trusty Mimic tier. Here's my 40,000 runes back. And then it kind of dawns on me, I'm like, wait a minute, his name is Moog, the Omen. If he's related to Moog, then probably the same stuff that I applied when I defeated Moog probably would work here. Would the Moog Shackle work here? I don't know, maybe. And the Wondrous Physic, I don't even know what I have on me right now. So I happen to have those um, Rock Slings on me. And I'm thinking, okay, let's go try this, because I haven't really tried this ever before. And I'm like, can't hurt, right? And it seems to actually work really well. I try the flies. I literally just, like, throw everything I have at him. <laughs> and it seems to work. I mean, he seems to react to it. But, and again, he's throwing this, he does this, like, blood shower that the other mob did. So, yeah. I think if you have already beaten the other mob, then you could probably apply the exact same strategy here and don't have to do what I did here, but I feel like if you have a good summon, uh, that summon will completely distract him for the whole duration of the fight and you could just literally throw everything at him. Oops, I run out of FP, but I have plenty of that and he is now down to like 5%. So I'm not concerned anymore. My summon is also just still alive, barely, <laughs> about as much as him. And we have him right here. He's down. And what do we get? We get a Blood Flame Talons. I think that's an incarnation. And then we get an achievement, which is awesome. So definitely worth it coming down here. I think this Mog is pretty much like the other Mog. The only difference is that he doesn't have like two faces and is like midpoint where he has this humongous range hour that you cannot avoid. So he's definitely easier. So if you did beat the regular Mog and you just want to have this achievement, I think it's it's going to be easy breezy for you to do this. And you get another side of grace here, which is also not what I expected. I'm like, why is there another side of grace? Do I need this side of grace ever again? I don't know. But here it is. It's maybe just here because um, the devs thought it looked cool. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.